Hello, I'm Hiroki Kondo. I'm Shingo Saito. I'm Tatsushi Tanaka. This is a video abstract of our joint paper, The Bowman Bradley Theorem for Multi Zeta Star Values. The Riemann zeta value, zeta k, is defined as the sum of the reciprocals of m to the k. We look at two generalizations of the Riemann zeta values. One is the multi zeta values. Zeta of k1 up to kn is defined as the sum of m1 greater than da, 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 greater than mn greater than 0, 1 over m1 to the k1 up to mn to the kn. The other is the multi zeta star values. Zeta star k1 up to kn is the sum of the same fractions, but this time mys are allowed to be equal. It is known that some of these values are rational multiples of powers of pi. It is well known that zeta 2k is a rational multiple of pi to the 2k, and this generalizes to both multiple zeta values and multiple zeta star values. Namely, if you look at the sequence consisting of the same even number, then its, it's zeta and zeta star are both rational multiples of a power of pi. In particular, zeta of p2s is a rational multiple of pi to the 2p, and the same holds for zeta star. It is also known that zeta of q times repetition of the sequence 3, 1 is a rational multiple of pi to the 4q, and the same holds for multiple zeta star values. Now let's move on to the Bowman Brothers theorem. The Bowman Brothers theorem is a common generalization of this and this. And the statement is zeta 2p shuffle 3 1 q is a rational multiple of pi to the 2p plus 4 q. Here, sha is the shuffle product. For those of you who know the shuffle product for multiple zeta values coming from iterated integrals, um, our, zeta, uh, our shuffle product is relevant but different. Our shuffle product is described as follows. Suppose I have p cards in my left hand and two q cards in my right hand, and each card carries a number illustrated here. When I interleave the cards, there are many possible results. And this is an example. Zeta 2p shuffle 3 1 q is defined as a sum of zetas for all such possible resulting sequences. For example, zeta 2 1 shuffle 3 1 1 is the sum of zeta 2 3 1 zeta 3, 2, 1, and zeta 3, 1, 2. And the Bowman Brothers theorem says that such a sum is always a rational multiple of a power of pi. If I set q equal to 0, then this part disappears, and we get this. If p is 0, then this part disappears, and we get this. So the Bowman Brothers theorem is indeed a common generalization of these two facts. Now we state the main theorem of this paper. The Bowman Bradley theorem was a generalization of this and this. Since we know that one star and two star are both true, it is natural to expect that the bowman bradley theorem star is also true. Our main theorem says that this is indeed the case. So zeta star of 2p shuffle 3, 1, q does belong to q pi to the 2p plus 4q. Thank you.